Have you been on a beach holiday with him? Well, I think we all know that I have. Right. I was guessing, but good. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, when you're not, say if you lie next to him on the um, on the light low things, <laughs> do, you, do you still have to call him sir? I always call him sir because actually sir is his name. Is it? What it's sir? A nice it? name, but it's his name, sir. And I think it would be difficult. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> The problem is, is if I was to see him in public, mm. if he was, <laughs> I love your very serious look, if I was to see him in public, then people address him as sir. I can't go up and say, hey mate, you know, and, I mean, I think it's easier to call him the same thing. Well, listen. Yeah, but when you're on holiday, you don't want to be on holiday with someone you have to call sir. I'm not going to tell you the things I do on holiday. Unless it's a school trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> Something I read in your column. I was told to call you sir, anyway. No, you weren't. I, I was told you didn't know you didn't know who I was. Me. Someone said to me, <laughs> you know Cara's what? turned up and they said, you Do know, know Frank, said, I've never heard of him. I thought it was okay, I'm gonna admit it. Go on. I thought it was Frank Butcher. Frank Butcher? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was like I was gonna come and see Mike Reeves. All right. Because he said, you know, he sang that song, and you know how Mike Reeves just started singing that song. So I thought, oh Frank Butcher, I'm going on his song. And I get on his show. Yeah. And then you popped out of the dressing room. He popped out of the dressing room. I go, have you got a lighter? I thought you were wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> but I love your show. And I think you're great. And are you married and are you single? And what are you doing later? Well, I'm not married. Good. Um, but how are you on the sort of bit of wrath stage? <laughs> I don't know what we'd talk about, you see, because I feel that you, you Oh, you can have that man with the signpost come with you everywhere. That would be good. <laughs> what, at the end of the bed? Yeah. yeah, right, now it's time to do... You're the best I've ever had. position. <laughs> I'll tell you a real good thing to say after sex. If ever you want to force anyone to ask a question, after sex, always say, Whoa, you know, that was the second best sex I've ever had. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know, I had a letter from somebody the other day, because I put it in my column. Yeah, sorry I... about that. Sorry, just, just, yeah, I I've got to be carried away, away, yeah. I said I wore, no, because I was thinking of bedroom season, I said I wore La Perla underwear, you know. You wore wet, sorry? I said I wore La Perla underwear, very expensive underwear. Okay. Funnily enough now, I've got quite a lot of it. But, um, mm. this man wrote to me and he said, Dear Miss Palmer Tompkinson, as a man who skis really well, goes on really posh holidays, I think you're just a load of shit. Um, he said, and by the way, I needed my sense of humour when I wore that you wore the pearl underwear. This is like putting Pirelli tyres on a Vauxhall Cavalier. <laughs> Was it signed, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's signed, Frank Skinner. <laughs> oh, now you've learnt the name, you're going to overuse it. Aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to take a picture uh, for my Sunday Times column. Look, office. Peggy. Uh. <laughs> oh, if, if only I'd got the car. Now, I, I read, I read your column. The car. It was a throwaway line. Darling, I don't have the car, the license, or anything. I no? got a Vespa. <laughs> have you? No, but I'm getting one. Tomorrow. So what you do? You go on telly and say, I really love Vespa scooters. And oh, no, 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 what do they want to say? Oh, yes, I want to say, if anyone wants to give me a cup, give me one. OK, I've said it now. Don't you dare edit that out. I'll just leave and give me one. Because <laughs> one thing I find, in, in your column, you're always going on about... Um, I'll tell you one thing in your column you did say, and that is that you, you've got a dog, haven't you? I've got three dogs. Right, OK. Are they... Counting me, that's four. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Don't put yourself down. <laughs> oh, I think you're very lovely. You have to say that. <laughs> I don't have to. You're... Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> no. But you said in this thing... No, my lunch has got a dog on it. Yeah? All right, go on. Um, you said that... Uh, <laughs> no, that was... Is it a watchdog? <laughs> 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 oh! oh. You'll use that if you like. <laughs> I'll steal it. I'll pretend it's mine. Now you say that you uh, you kiss your dog. That's not true, is it? Oh God! I should have bought the pictures. What do you mean I kiss my dog? It says you know. I don't French kiss it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I don't. So you I said that in your column. You, you said you kissed the dog. No, I don't. He goes like this. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> She get really close. But you can feel dog breath. <laughs> no? Hey, take that back. What? Don't even take that back. It's a dog. It must, it must have dog no, breath. No, because he doesn't open his mouth. He's seeing if I'm ill. Oh. <laughs> this would make a great photo, wouldn't it? <laughs> give you hiccups. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I've, got a, is... I've got a quote here from uh, Hello Magazine. Oh, give it here. What does it say? No. I'll and then you've got the bit highlighted. I'll read it to you, that'll be quicker. <laughs> it says... I want to know what it says first. It said... No, it's not nasty. It says, what attributes would the man you marry have to have, right? And you said... A Remember I was doing that for money, so what was I saying? Yeah. That's the other part of the interview, actually. <laughs> but how you were young, you needed some. Uh, it says... <laughs> It says a lot of this is what you want in ideal. A lot of husband. charisma. Well, that's a lot true. of charisma, charm, and most of all, he'd have to have a really good sense of humour and make me laugh. Does I leave out the big wallet? The big. <laughs> what the tea is silent. To a certain extent, I mean, I don't want. I don't want a guy who's who's boring. What if he's really rich, though? Listen, I could have been there, and I didn't. Well, I am not that. a wallet piranha. No. <laughs> oh, was, don't they make underwear? <laughs> no, but you couldn't marry a you couldn't marry a bloke who ran a chip shop, for example. I could. I'd marry the man I fell in love with. Really? Oh, see, I worry about. Because this is what. No, I worry about you. Do you? You I don't know who I am. <laughs> no, but you don't really know who I am if you think that. That's a that's a good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. But once that little brain cell's just packed up again. Yeah, I saw it sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> So you've drawn me in now. I know. And no, I'm, I'd like to find out that I've that... forgotten what I said, but I know it was good. Yeah, <laughs> you're halfway there. But all I'm saying is it doesn't matter to me. And, and, and it's all portrayed that I've got to marry this thing that's going to be arranged and this and that and this and that. I come from a really nice family who aren't pretentious at all, who don't really care, who aren't... <laughs> why do you all laugh? Yeah, Someone what? stand up and tell me why you're laughing if you... Don't, don't. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> that is... I'll tell you about that. God, I thought it was alive. <laughs> you thought it was pet tamperous? See me standing behind you. <laughs> now that... That is... Did you ever watch Step... No, stupid question. There was a programme called Steptoe and Son, right? And that was the bear from Steptoe and... Did you ever see Steptoe Can and I Son? Can Did you ever see Steptoe and Son? No, I never not, even noticed him, Tom. Not... <laughs> did you watch always... Steptoe and Son? Not even what is step research. No, it's, a, it's a sitcom about uh, two rag and bone men. <laughs> Cue the next question. <laughs> They're people that collect scrap metal and then sell them. What's that got to do with him? He was, in, he was from the actual series. Did he, he was... collect the scrap metal? Hell no. <laughs> he was dead. <laughs> but... You could have told me. What? No, you look lovely. I could see look... myself on the monitor. Yes. You know, I haven't said that since I was in school. <laughs> um, here you are. Well, I'm really nice at school. Okay. Well, look, it's been, it's been, um... It's been real. <laughs> it has been, it's been, it's been in the ballpark of being real. <laughs> Thank you for, um, coming from, uh, calling to me across the class divide. Tonight, I've enjoyed no, it because you come from a, you know, you're part. the first time for everything. It is though. I don't, you know, you, you're sort of part of the in crowd, and I'm sort of part of the Bernie in crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Tara Palmer, come